Hey everybody, welcome back to the Best Court News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. In today's numismatic news and information for the 13th day of February 2024, I'm going to welcome you over to MoneyMetals.com so we can check out those live spot prices, as well as the premium and the availability for the 24 American Silver Eagle. After that, we'll bounce over to the United States Mint website and check out, yes, the bullion sales, and then we're going to be checking out the American Women Quarters proof set. Now, that is the first look at all of the American Women Quarters for the year 2024, and I can't wait to see this in our hot little hands. That comes out two weeks from today. But before all of that, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs. That's right, a bazillion, however many that is. It's got to be a lot. And we're going to open up that Son of a Silver Stacker store right there and sell the Son of a Silver Stacker merchandise. There you go. Now, let's get busy with it. Over here to MoneyMetals.com. Gold's up eight dollars fifteen cents to twenty thirty eight twenty five. Silver up fifteen pennies to twenty three oh two. Looks like platinum's up two fifty five to nine oh six seventy, and palladium up eleven sixty five to nine forty two sixty five. Honestly, with palladium, platinum, and silver being this price here, and then gold at that two thousand and thirty eight, it's just remarkable that gold has had had well held steady at that two thousand dollar mark here the last couple months. That's remarkable. All right, you're looking at an in stock American silver eagle. Whose premium is six ninety nine? You're going to get out of there at thirty dollars and a penny, and they'll buy them back for twenty four seventy nine each. That's right over there at the bottom. Now over here to the bullion sales, no new tale to tell, but uh, I imagine we'll get some more news for February, seeing how we're almost halfway through February as it is now. Can you believe it? It's just unreal, unreal. Now here's the product schedule for the United States Mint. This is the twenty twenty four product schedule. Today we actually have a drop. It's the Rutherford B Hayes Presidential Silver Medal. That's dropping today at noon. That's coming out of San Francisco, California. Then in two short days from now, you got the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. That's the 2024 Platinum Proof Coin, and that's the right to assemble. But look at this. Two weeks from today, you're looking at the American Women Quarters 2024 proof set. Can't wait for this. Now look at there, the um, honorees right there. Reverend Dr. Polly Murray, Patsy Takamoto Mink, Dr. Mary Edwards Walker, Celia Cruz, and Zitka Shah. Awesome awesome honorees and i can't wait to learn more about them during the year here 2024 this is going to be amazing right so this is a 23 dollar product okay and it's going to be available for sale february 27 2024 at noon and it says here the american women quarters proof set includes five proof quarters from the american women quarters program honoring and it has the five honorees right here and this is the second to the last year so last year is it and then we'll have one american women quarter for the year 2026 even though it's not part of the official American Women Quarters program, it will be the first quarter dropped in 2026, and it must feature a woman, a female, I guess. Um, I guess that could be a pretty sticky situation nowadays. Um, now, this first honoree is Reverend Dr. Polly Murray, um, and I don't know if she was actually a medical doctor. I think she was just had a, a, a law degree doctorate, all right? So that's what makes her a doctor there. Uh, do you know people who call themselves doctor who aren't really doctors, even though they're doctors? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's interesting. Now, she's a poet, a writer, an activist, a lawyer, Episcopal priest. To this day, Murray is regarded as one of the most important social justice advocates of the 20th century. That's her right there, Reverend Dr. Polly Murray. Bam! Nice haircut. Now, Honorable Patsy, Mona, uh, Patsy Takamoto Mink, as a member of Congress, she fought for gender and racial equality, affordable child care, and bilingual education. Mink was the champion of Title IX legislation in Congress, prohibiting sex discrimination in any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. Title IX was posthumously, you know, after the fact, after she died, renamed the Patsy T. Mink Equal Opportunity and Education Act. So it's named after her now. Now we have Dr. Mary Edwards Walker. She was a surgeon. She's a real doctor, right? Was a Civil War era surgeon and women's rights, uh, women's rights and dress reform advocate. That's interesting. Dress reform. Walker relentlessly pursued her desire to serve as a surgeon during World War, Civil War rather, and in 18, World War, where did that come from? During the Civil War in 1863, she became the first woman U.S. Army surgeon as a contract acting assistant surgeon, a civilian, all right? To date, Walker's the only woman to be awarded the Medal of Honor. That's a big deal. That's like the highest honor anybody could get in the whole United States, at least if you're in the military right there, Medal of Honor. Now, Celia Cruz, probably my favorite. Uh, probably quarter this year. Uh, maybe the Dr. Edward, uh, Dr. Mary Edwards Walker and the Celia Cruz designs are my favorite two quarters. Although the Zikala Shaw is pretty cool. Um, the other two are pretty cool, but those two take the cake for me. I really, really dig 
those designs on the Celia Cruz and the Dr. Mary Edwards Walker. Let's keep on keeping on. It says here, Celia Cruz was a Cuban-American singer, cultural icon, and one of the most popular Latin artists of the 20th century. Known as the Queen of Salsa, Cruz's numerous honors and awards include three American and four Latin Grammy Awards, the Presidential Medal of Arts, and countless Lifetime Achievement Awards. That's Celia Cruz right there. Bam! Look how happy and how excited. Don't just want to hang out with her. It looks infectious, right? Now we have Zitka Shah, also known as Gertrude Simmons Bonin, was a writer, composer, educator, and political activist for Native American rights and citizenship in the early 20th century. And don't forget, we have the 1924 Native American, or at least the Indian Citizenship Act of 1924, and that's the 100th anniversary this year. So that's kind of interesting. This is called a shaw. Maybe they could have tied that in there between the um, you know American, Native American rights and citizenship, right? That would have been huge. Now it says here Zitka Shaw was staunchly opposed to the annihilation. It looks like that's the word, the annihilation of indigenous culture through assimilation. Oh, like the Borg. Remember the Borg in Star Trek? Yeah. Remember when, anyway. I almost talked about uh, Picard getting into the Borg. That was a great episode. Either way, uh, through a simulation after she was forced to give up her own Native American customs and traditions in exchange for education. And you know what's interesting? All of these women have one thing in common, and it is from the very start of the American Women Quarter program in 2022. They're all educated, right? And you remember that last, yesterday's plus one was about philosophy and education. That's a huge thing for people. Yeah, educate yourself and never give up on yourself. Additionally, her advocacy work directly led to the passage of the Indian Citizenship Act of 1924. What? Come on! Which granted American Indians U.S. citizenship while still maintaining their tribal standing and citizenship. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't care who you are. Struck at the United States Mint in San Francisco, accompanied by a certificate of authenticity. Now check this out. This is where it gets really interesting. Uh, I do appreciate all of these honorees, no doubt about it. Um, I really, uh, I think the CCAC and the Commission of Fine Arts kind of missed the boat on the Zitkala Shah one. I don't know if that's the best possible coin design um, for that particular honoree, but you know what? It's better than nothing, right? It's better than not getting an honoree uh, for Zitkala Shah. Now, let's go into the mintages, all right? This is important. Now, as you can see here, this is the 2024 American Women Quarters proof set, and I'm not sure about next year's. But this is the 2024, and the product limit is 60,060. How random is that last 60 on there? Household order limit that day for the first 24 hours is going to be five, all right? Well, let's ask ourselves the question, what was the product limit for the 2023 proof set as well as the 2022 proof set, right? All right, well, here we are at the 23, and let's go to, yep, look at that, vintage limit, NA, not applicable, not available. Either way, it doesn't really have anything on there, and honestly, I can tell you, from, I guess, earlier in 2023, when we still had access to find out the data available and what the numbers were, there was about 75 to 76,000 of these American Women Quarters proof sets. So they have a few of those left, and they're still add to bag, as you can see. Let's go to 2022 proof set right there, as you can see, $23. This featured the first honorees of the American Women Quarter program. Maya Angelou, Dr. Sally Ride, Wilma Mankiller, Nino Otero Warren, and Anna Mae Wong. It is now on Remind Me, it said there was no mintage limit, no product limit. However, if you do look these numbers up um, in the beginning, when we still had access to the data available, this was about forty-five to 40,000. And you can actually, bam, go here to the cumulative sales figures and actually, well, make those numbers jive. So here we go. We're at 22W. Right there is the product 22W. I can, I can show you down here, actually, 22WP. Right, none available. It's got the blue button, no candy, shiny like red button. So that's the twenty-two. It's got forty-two thousand eight hundred and twenty-one. What was this year's? Yeah, the twenty twenty-four set. We're looking at how many? Yeah, sixty thousand and sixty. So yeah, that's a that's a few less, right? That's a few less, eighteen thousand or almost twenty thousand. So that's less. That's remarkable. And what does twenty twenty-three offer? Well, let's go to twenty twenty-three. There you go. Twenty twenty-three offers fifty-four thousand nine hundred and twenty-seven. That means they probably have about fifteen to 20,000 of these particular sets of from 2023 still available. So the Mint, it looks like, is all over the map with their product limits for the American Women Quarters proof sets. Now, the one that's least minted, right, is the 2022 set. Then the one with the highest mintages, we're looking at the 23 American Women Quarters proof set, 23, then 24. And I guess that begs the question, what does 2025 bring 
for the product limits for the American Woman Quarters proof sets. Are we going to get back down to the numbers from 2022 and look at 42,000? Are we going to stick around that eight, uh, 60,000 that 2024 has found? It's really interesting. They're all over the map. And, and really, this is pretty consistent, especially when you consider the fact that the United States Mint has also changed the mintages for the PD and the S uh, rolls, as well as the PD rolls and the bags. Not so much the bags as it has the rolls. They really increased those rolls quite a bit in the thousands, right? That's amazing. Now, let's go to the um, the eBay website to check out what's going on here. Now, this is the American Woman Quarters 23 silver proof set. And really, I mean, folks, I got to tell you, you know, these these silver proof sets, they're not cheap. They're really not cheap. In fact, I'm going to go here to the one for 2024. It's $80, right? $80. That's a good bit of money. But if you go over to eBay, the secondary market, look at this. No box, no COA. But you're getting all that fractional silver. Yeah, that for 50 bucks. That's 10 bucks per coin. That's remarkable. Look at this one, $49.90. Look at that, silver proof set, same day shipping, American Woman Quarters. I don't know if they have the uh, the box in the COA, but that'd be interesting. Look at that, 59 So the retail price of this is 80 and it's selling on the secondary market for 59 to 60 Look at that, 54 Do I see a 50 Can I get a 50 Yep, there's a 50 right there. All five, no box, with proof, COA right there. So, yeah, it's interesting to see how little or how much these actually go for Look at this. This is the uh, Congress order replacement box, and that is the one with the George, uh, the jaunty, sporty looking uh, Betsy Coleman with the hat. Seventy five. Yeah, it's eighty. Remember, it's seventy five. Maybe back in the day, thirty five just for the box right there. There's another fifty. There's fifty nine. There's sixty three. There's a fifty. That's just for the proof, silver proof set and the old new boxes. I don't understand what's going on there. That's amazing. So yeah, look at that. Fifty bucks with nine dollars shipping. Sixty bucks with free shipping come on and that's the old one too it's got to be worth something anyway i think the deals are out there folks now this is the 2022 silver proof set and yeah these are a bargain as well and these had the lowest mintage as out of all of them right these aren't 10 bucks each those are 18 almost 20 dollars a piece yeah was, uh, look at that 53 come on that's ridiculous and even the one from 23 23 is, is reasonable as well especially if you get the older picture now with that said, that's enough of me yammering today. Let's go to the plus ones. Bam, this is Psalm 10, 15. It says here, break the power of the wicked, and the bad one, you will search for his wickedness and find it not. I feel like I'm listening, talking to Shakespeare or something. And I think what that means is when we break the power of the wicked, right, those tempted by those wicked bastards are going to be less likely to imitate them. Yeah, that's what I think. Now, over here to 3959.99.9 K-O-I-N Coin News Radio. This is Led Zeppelin, Battle of Evermore on 90. What is it? Do I even have a, a, a number? Yeah, 99.9 .9 at 99.9 .9 KON Coin News Radio. Yeah, so that's the video today. I hope you hopefully dig it. Uh, hopefully you're into those American Women Quarters. I know I am. I'm really stoked about this program. It is such a short program. And honestly, yeah, some people are probably getting burned out. But listen, four years is not a long time. Four years goes by in a blink of an eye. It's like a a college degree for a really uh, most super motivated student or uh, a high school uh, di uh, diploma, right? Four years, boom, done. Yeah. So listen, folks, I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, sub the channel, it's free. And also, please do become a member. It's $1.99 per month, and it really helps me out. And all these videos come out every single morning that you listen to. Now, maybe you don't listen to all of them all the time, but hey, if you listen to four or five a month, that's got to be worth it, right? Stagger out.